Hey y'all, Johnny Mullet here. Sorry about the noise, but uh, I had the ignition on because I brought my scanner from work. I brought it home, the boss let me borrow it. This is a Snap-on ProLink Ultra. This is made for diagnostics and scanning of heavy trucks. So, let's uh, give this thing a scan, see what we got going on here. Hopefully the battery in the bus has enough juice to do this. So we're going to scan the vehicle here. That noise you hear with the key on is the electric brake motor running. And that shuts off once the vehicle is running. That's no completely normal. So it wants to know what I'm going to scan. So... I'm going to scan the engine and we'll hit OK. I don't know if I got that. There we go. This will check if there's any faults or anything like that. Now, your average normal person cannot afford this computer. This thing was like four grand. And like I said, I borrowed it from work. And when you get the computer, I'm going to hit OK. Um, you just get generic functions. You don't really get, uh, you know, all the good stuff. So, you have to buy programs. And we actually bought the international program. And it looks here that we have a few codes um, that are stored in memory. Looks like the camshaft sensor codes, and that's a very common problem is the camshaft sensor codes on these T440E engines. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to clear these faults and get them out of there. And next time I run the bus, I'll check it out and see if anything comes back. Okay, so let's go into the international engine. And I think we got calibrations here. Go to the engine. And it looks like... Mine does have cruise control. It's enabled. Cruise control vehicle speed. Cruise, cruise control high speed. Looks like I can change the value. Okay, let's go back to getting kind of lost here. Engine speed control, cruise control. We got four pages here. Engine warm up device, powertrain warning and protection system. Road limiting speed and anti tampering. Vehicle identification number. Two speed axle, which we don't have. Okay, so it looks like we have road speed limiting. Road speed limiting control is enabled. And max vehicle speed is 65 miles per hour, which is exactly what it was when I drove it. So I can change this value. And I can make the max speed on this bus. I'm just going to hit 90. And we're going to change that. So now, my bus is no longer limited at 65 miles an hour. I set it to 90 because I really don't think it'll go any faster than that. So, we also have speed limit. Uh, I don't want the RPMs to change because that is kind of a safety thing there. go back uh, let's go back to the categories and we'll go back another page here idle shutdown control it's disabled already that's good engine speed control we're all good there 
cruise control, I already went there. Engine. That's all good, I can't change those parameters. But basically, that's what I wanted to do was turn that speed limiter off. So, that is done. So I think we're good here. So I just wanted to show you that. I think it's pretty slick. So I just now shut the speed control off on my bus. And another cool thing is I got me a shower pan. This is supposedly a, let me grab my tape measure here, 32 by 32 shower pan. Um, I think it's bigger than that. No, it's actually yeah, about 32 by 32. The problem is, is I wanted my shower right here. If I put my shower here, my bed is not going to fit across the back. So I got to do some floor planning and probably change this up. I might have my shower here, put the bed long ways here, and maybe the bathroom right there. I mean, I really didn't go over a floor plan yet and, uh, you know, I got to do that because I got my Amish friend coming down and he's going to do all the construction work for me and I have to have this floor plan ready. Um, if you notice, I did have the bus cleaned out. Um, all that lumber and extra stuff. And another thing I noticed here is we have a coolant leak out of the heater connection. So, if that's not easy, easily to fix, or I'm sorry, if that's not easy to fix, I'm just going to eliminate the heater. I do want to keep these heater hoses though, because that does provide heat. Even with the heater removed, I can loop the hoses together and it'll still work. So that's where we're at right now. Um, we haven't had sun, as you can see outside, and you've already noticed more snow, more crap. Yeah, welcome to Northeast Ohio. So, I haven't had any sun in a while, but we still got 14.2 volts showing. So that's pretty slick. Everything's still working, and uh, really proud of that setup. Um, I also got this. Um, this here, let me set this up for you, is actually a digital meter that you can get on Amazon. A lot of guys have them. And it's just this uh, part right here is the actual meter. But I couldn't fit the meter inside the thick plywood because it has these little two tabs on the sides that sort of lock it to wherever you mount it. So what this thing here is, is this is a, a big rig... APU control unit. So if you ever notice like the big rigs when they're parked at night they got this little diesel engine running and uh, that's called an APU auxiliary power unit and it runs you know heat and air conditioning and so forth. Well we happen to have a bad control unit and I saved the case. I took it apart and gutted everything and made it fit my meter so it has a nice little clean box for it to go in. And I really don't know exactly where I'm going to mount it yet. Um, so I'm going to get that wired in. And I think on the last video I showed you my negative ground down there. And there's that shiny piece off the ground. That's called a shunt. And that is what is needed to make the meter work properly. Okay, we're back and it's uh, story time again. Um, pardon my filth, I am like really dirty. I just got off work and uh, as I told you guys before, I'm a diesel mechanic and my job's nasty. And every day I come home from work, man, I gotta shower and scrub up because I just get plain old filthy. And uh, I got excited when my boss said that uh, I can borrow the scanner and bring it home and so, Pretty much, I came home and hooked it up and brought the old tablet out here so I could record and share with all my YouTube subscribers and my other friends. Um, 
the parameters. Now, um, normally at the shop, we charge her like $110, $109.95 to hook the computer up. So if you live in like Northwest Pennsylvania or Northeast Ohio, and you have a international engine, we have the program for it. And if you'd like to have your bus, you know, scan, checked out, or maybe even change some parameters, send me a message or get a hold of me somehow and we could probably hook you up. I mean, we could always use a little extra business. Not a, and Maybe I get to check out somebody's schoolie, you know? But anyway, um, the floor plan, that's going to be my next video. Um, before I finish this cabinet and stuff, I got to get this floor plan set up and figured out. I got to know exactly where I want everything to go because where I initially wanted everything to go, it ain't happening. Um, you know, you measure stuff out, you think it's going to work, but then you got to put into consideration, okay, I need a two by four wall here and I just lost two inches here and another inch there and you throw it right out the window. It's a real pain in the ass. Um, the bus is the perfect size. I mean, this is a seven window bus, so it's not a big 40 footer. It's the perfect size for what I want. But these damn wheel wells are just, where they're at, just really screws everything up, you know, because they're in the way. They're just basically in the way. So I gotta use the wheel wells to, you know, position certain cabinets or cupboards or closets or something and, you know, I gotta make use of the space how I can. It's, I don't know how. But anyway, this weekend, um, I'll probably give you another video here in a couple days, but uh, this weekend, I'm gonna go ahead and finish sanding this ceiling. I don't think I'm gonna be able to paint it because the temperature is still in the 30s and it's gonna be that way until next weekend. But at least I can get it all sanded down and ready for paint. And uh, I'm gonna start measuring out the floor plan. If you guys got any suggestions on what I should do, I mean, I don't know where to go with it. I'm going to shower there. You know, I have a water tank under the bed there long ways. I thought another thing I could maybe put the shower, you know, like here somewhere so I could still have the bed long ways, but then... I'm gonna be walking over. I'm gonna be walking over a wheel well if I want to go under the back of the bus. So I don't know, man. And another thing is um, the bus is really bouncy in the back. So if I have my water tank out there, you know, I'm gonna have a lot of sloshing going on, and I don't know. I got a lot of thinking to do. I got some planning to do, and I need to do that in the next couple of days. And uh, that's where I'm at. So, you know, I thought a 32 by 32 shower pan would be smaller than that, but apparently my brain doesn't comprehend 32 inches. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Um, another, I mean, that's a hundred and something dollar pan. And it was actually given to me um, from a friend who works at a place that makes these. And the reason he's given it to me is because it's a blend. Let me show you. If you look on the bottom of this, you can see right here. See where this broke off and this broke off? So they can't sell this as a good part. I also see another blem right here. So instead of throwing this thing away, the guy asked his boss if he could take it home, and the guy said, sure, no problem. It's all yours. So, that saved me a lot of money. I like it. Um, I just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. That's where I'm at. So, hey guys. I really appreciate you watching my videos, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. This is actually one of the longest videos I've done on the bus build. Um... I normally film with my cell phone, but it's about, you know, out of memory and space. So I'm using the tablet this time, and I did one other video with the tablet, and I was actually able to go a little bit longer, so 
that's where we're at. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll get you another video here in a couple days. So, thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you later.